जय श्री राम द कठा उपनिषद और कठोपनिषद इज मेनली कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ ए कॉन्वर्जेशन बिटवीन नचिकेता एंड यमा द लॉर्ड ऑफ डेथ है इट्स सच एन इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्वर्जेशन एंड द सेंट्रल आइडिया इज यमा टीचर्स नचिकेता दैट देर आर टू पार्ट्स वन इज प्लीजिंग टू द बॉडी एंड द सेंसेस द अदर इज सब्लिमेटिंग सेंस सब्लिमेटिंग एंड सो सोल एलिवेटिंग the former is the enticing priyas the latter is the ennobling shriyas ah uh, uh, in uh, bhagavad gita also uh, krishna arjuna asks krishna please teach me what is shriyas karam what is good for me uh, so what is pleasant in the long run can be dangerous <laughs> what is initially unpleasant is what will liberate us so there are so many good habits which are initially unpleasant you know getting up early in the morning eh? uh, so learning yoga doing exercise eh? learning as many things as possible being as independent as possible not being dependent on others learning cooking learning various sports playing shuttle badminton that is the best sport i think hmm? because it gives you a terrific exercise i love shuttle badminton so uh so the best way to love life is to learn as many things as possible and uh, help others people others also to learn and uh, seek moksha shreyas how be krishna's agent do everything but in a very detached way immersed but detached again i'm repeating it so that it sticks to your mind nachiketa we are all nachiketas nachiketa is a seeker after truth and yama yama is nothing but a facet of sri krishna so in the katha upanishad the katha upanishad says very clearly the good and the pleasant are both open to man a wise person prefers the good after closely examining the two and weighing their merits and demerits a short sighted manda buddhi prefers the pleasant because he is only concerned with increasing and preserving his physical comforts so the mantra goes like this shriyascha priyascha manushya metat sato samparitya ah vivi nakti dhiraha <coughs> shreyo hi dhiro bhi priyaso vrunite priyo mando yoga kshemad vrunite so you see we were not taught sanskrit in our schools after 1947 independence many great so called great people have bungled so badly they have tried to destroy our culture uh, hindu phobia is so rampant under modi ji i hope things will improve without learning sanskrit there cannot be any sanatan dharma because you will never understand fully anything in the bhagavad gita without some basic knowledge of sanskrit okay so let us hope in future sanskrit will be taught in every country the medium of instruction is in their mother tongue germans are the best engineers they don't speak english japanese koreans look at them they all study in their mother tongue we fools are being forced to study with english as the medium of instruction english can be taught it's a good language the english you know they looted the whole world and anyway everything said and done english language is widely spoken yeah, so there's no harm in learning an extra language but why should it be made the medium of instruction i don't know what kind of you know i want to use the worst expletives because they have ruined the careers of billions of people just imagine there are so many girijana girijanas adivasis eh uh, gondulu chenchulu savaralu so many bheels all over india these people are very backward even today if an engineering college is set up with all textbooks in their mother tongue whatever bhasha they speak don't you think they can be as good as the germans and don't you think they will all be the world's best engineers and the software professionals but no we are ridiculing them because they don't know english this bloody stupid language english is the worst language on the planet only 26 letters and it has to steal words from every other language but we are forced to learn this language and we are keeping our own people very backward 
every one should be taught in their mother tongue anyway so i'm doing my bit we have to learn sanskrit and i feel that one of the best ways to learn is to listen to shlokas because if you are already aged then uh, starting from the beginning is difficult anyway atmanam rathinam vidhi shariram radham evatu buddhim tu saradhim vidhi mana uh, pragraham evacha <coughs> consider the your jivatma as the master of the chariot and the body as the chariot the intellect as the charioteer intellect means the discriminating part of the mind the that part of the mind which knows what is good and what is bad unfortunately adharmam dharmam itiya manyate tamasa avrta krishna says this in the bhagavad gita tamasik buddhi unna vallu adharmanni dharmam anukuntaru cheppina vinru వద్దురా బాబు ఆ బొందలకి పూజ చేయకురా ఈ పిచ్చి రిచువల్స్ చేయకురా విండువాడు అండ్ మతం మారుతారు ఆ ఎడారి మతాలు సరే సరి మొత్తం అధర్మం అంతా ధర్మం అనుకుంటున్నారు ఆ వెర్రి వెధవలు మన వెర్రి వెధవలు అది కూడా బాగుందంటున్నారు ఇది సంగతి ఆత్మానం రథినం విద్ధి శరీరం రథమేవతు బుద్ధింతు సారథం విద్ధి బుద్ధింతు సారథిం విద్ధి మన ప్రగ్రహమేవచ and the mind is the reins oh what a wonderful thing atmanam radhinam vidhi you can teach this shloka it seems quite simple atmanam radhinam vidhi atmanam radhinam vidhi shariram radham evatu shariram radham evatu buddhim tu saradhim vidhi buddhim tu saradhim vidhi mana pragraham evacha manasu kalyam ah intellect is the charioteer <coughs> actually you should make krishna your charioteer so once krishna is given the responsibility uh, to control our intellect then everything is settled all problems will cease indriyani hayanahur vishayansteshu gocharan atmendriya manoyuktam bhoktyat bhoktyahur manishinaha wise people describe the senses as horses and the body as the chariot objects sounds forms are the roads for the horses the atma together with the body mind and senses is the enjoyer okay so the atma is the enjoyer anyway so jai shri ram keep listening improve your sanskrit and live the gita jai jai shri ram